Okay, hello everyone. So I am starting a new 24 hour readathon vlog. I literally did a 24 hour readathon last week, but I'm doing another one this week. So I'm doing it with Kevin, Kay, Pat, Jody, and Caitlin. So I don't think all of us are vlogging, but obviously I'll leave everyone who has vlogged. I'll leave their vlogs in my description. But basically I am going to be reading Chain of Iron finally, which I'm so excited for because if you watched, well, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I read Chain of Gold like two years ago now and I, absolutely loved it and I was like oh my god I can't wait for the next one and it finally came out in March and it's currently May and I still haven't read it so disgusting anyway I'm finally going to start it today and I'm very excited honestly it would be amazing if I could finish it within 24 hours but I doubt it because I'm not like completely in the reading mood like I am in the reading mood but I'm not in like my intense like yes gonna read this all in 24 hours, you know what I mean? So I'm not gonna put that pressure on myself, but I am excited to get through a chunk of it during this readathon. And Kevin is also going to be reading it with me, so very excited to buddy read it with him. I literally can't wait. I've missed these characters, and I just think this is going to be amazing. So I'm gonna get on FaceTime with everyone and start reading. In talk. In talk. Okay, so I'm on FaceTime and I'm using the Mojo Jojo bookmark because I'm buddy reading with Kevin and he's using Buttercup. Oh, how. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. So cute. cute. Done. Oh! <laughs> cute. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Done. Oh! Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. So, <laughs> I feel like this readathon isn't going that well. I, I'm in a weird mood and I'm not really in like the reading mood. So honestly, I don't know how this readathon is going to go. And I do have some like gross anxiety at the moment. So I hate that. But anyway, <laughs> basically I got up to chapter two of Chain of Vine and then Kevin was like, I'll wait for me to get to chapter two. And then I was like, okay, I'll read Punk 57 while I'm waiting for you because I'm currently rereading this. So I got up to page 48 of Punk 57. And I think I'm honestly just going to continue this until I sleep tonight and then tomorrow i'll continue reading chain of iron yeah i think i'm just in the mood for this so i think i'm just gonna continue reading this and i definitely won't be finishing this in 24 hours <laughs> obviously i love these characters a lot this world and everything but my heart wants to read this at the moment so i think i'm just gonna listen to my heart also it's really fun because jody's reading it as well so she's reading it for the first time so it's fun to see her reactions i'm also definitely gonna sleep you know maybe at 11 or 12. i think 12 will be the latest because i don't feel like staying up really late like i want to have my sleep and everything so yeah honestly i don't know i feel like this readathon i mean i don't want to like put it out there but i don't think it's gonna be a success but i'm just gonna have a chill 24 hour readathon i'm gonna readjust my expectations to yeah it's just gonna be chill we're about to do our reading sprints live on Jodie's channel. I have just woken up like half an hour ago. I'm still freaking waking up. I have my stunning tea. But yes, very tired. I don't even know if I updated you last night, but I didn't really read more. But during the live, I'm going to read more of Chain of Iron. So I think I'm going to go between Chain of Iron and Punk 57 today, depending on what I'm feeling. But I'm definitely in the mood right now to read Chain of Iron, which is good. So we're going to do that. Uh, so... <laughs> I did the live, but then something came up, had my breakdown. <laughs> so I played Fortnite with Caitlyn so I could, you know, release some emotion by killing people in the game. And it was actually really good. But now we're actually going to watch Vampire Diaries together. 
before I continue reading because I still need to like get happy again. <laughs> and we were actually re-watching an episode before the readathon started and we didn't get to finish it. So I was like, can you please just finish the episode so I can be happy? Because I always feel happy when I watch Vampire Diaries. And then she's like, oh, exactly, yeah. So we're gonna do that. And then after we finish that episode, I'm gonna get back into reading. I got to page 49 of Chain of Iron and I was a bit nervous when I first started this book because I was like, oh, what if I'm not in the mood for this? But reading those pages on the live, I realized how much I love this world and these characters. And it reminded me why I love Chain of Gold so much. And now I'm completely invested and I'm like, exactly. So I'm just going to continue reading that. After the episode. No, thank you, Sophie. Good keeping you. Okay, hello. <laughs> oh my God, this has been the weirdest, weirdest, weirdest read -a But anyway, I am on page 98 of Chain of Iron. I am loving it, absolutely loving it. Look how many tabs I have already. I don't know if you can see, but I already have so many moments that I love nearly teed up at some moments. Oh, I just know this book is going to break me too. I just love these characters so much and I like that M scene. <laughs> Obviously I won't say because all this, but that scene. Wow, I was feeling everything. Oh, exactly. Page 88. So I think I'm actually going to end the readathon because even though I have like four hours left, I just don't feel great and I just, you know, maybe we'll see my friend or something. Get bubble tea to cheer myself up. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But before I end it, I have some book boxes that I need to unbox. So three fairly Elite boxes and one Alcree box. And I have been putting off unboxing them because I was like, should I do a dedicated video or should I do it in a vlog? And I think I just, once again, want to cheer myself up. So I'm going to open them because there'll be some stunning items in there and some stunning books, hopefully. So let's do that. I'm still up and baby <laughs> Oh, also, Olivia Rodrigo's song, oh sorry, album came out yesterday. And I've gotten quite a few messages asking what my favorite song is off the album and besides like the main singles like obviously good for you is like my number one but besides the main singles my favorite is brutal exactly god it's brutal out here okay so like i said i have four boxes i'm just gonna open them i don't know like the order or anything i'm just gonna go with it i am a fairly rep and an outright rep so they send me the boxes for free super thankful to them and you can use my code chloe for a discount off your first box i'll have them linked below of course but let's get into it also i'm obviously going to go through them kind of quickly because i don't want to take 10 million years but this is the january box stunning the theme is greek mythology oh exactly a little wooden spoon moment this says did you know food is infinitely more scrumptious when you're in love true <laughs> i love fun cooking utensils so love that oh wow this is a stunning stunning trinket tray oh i love that this features eros and psyche from the legendary story between a mortal and a god i don't know too much about greek mythology so sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong but the next item oh exactly metal bookmark this is a stunning stunning metal bookmark well this depicts athena goddess of war and wisdom then we have this medusa iron on patch once again stunning we have this percy jackson print which is so cool i think this is percy and annabeth oh stunning stunning we have a book sleeve and this says but in a solitary life there are rare moments when another soul dips near yours as stars once a year oh my god that quote shut up so this is from circe which i do own so i need to read it yeah that's a stunning quote and stunning book sleeve. Then we have the monthly tarot cards. So this is three of wands and four of wands. These people are stunning. And these are characters from The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Ardia, which I do need to read. Now we have the book, and I know the book is going to be law. Oh, yes, it is. And this cover. Oh, wow. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. And the eye. Oh, wow. This is so cool. Look at that fine oh my god this oh and the oh wow this is stunning are you kidding oh wow it just keeps getting better oh my god wow <gasps> the games have begun and she's playing for her life oh my god this is literally stunning oh okay yep one of my favorite exclusive editions honestly wow 
So this is inspired by Greek mythology and it's set in the modern world. So I am interested in it. I think Jamie wants to read it, so maybe I'll wait for her to read it. This edition is literally amazing. So then we have the note from the author with the character art and these must be the two main characters. Stunning. And then we have the monthly bookmark. Okay, now let's switch it up and do an hour crate. So this is the monthly spoiler card and the theme is Ruthless Arrivals and this is the April box. Oh, some coffee stunning. So we have cinnamon hazelnut coffee. Very excited to try this. And then I think this is a cutlery set. So this says the stars incline us, they do not bind us. Love that design. Oh, exactly. Chopsticks. <gasps> the white flowers. Oh, okay. I think this is inspired by these balance are white. Share a romantic meal with your bitter rival with this chopstick set. Exactly inspired by these balance are white. Love that. That. Oh, interesting. I think this is a Hamilton inspired item because it says history has its eyes on you. So this is like a phone thing. So you like stick it to the back of your phone and then you can like put something in here and then it has like the little ring thing. Okay, so the next item comes in this box. Interesting. This is some sort of game. One second, gonna FaceTime Jamie. <laughs> okay, hello. I just got off FaceTime with Jamie, but let's continue. So yeah, this seems like it's some sort of game. Oh, interesting. Maybe it's like a TBR game. This is a game of literary lists. Fun! Okay, now we have a throw pillow cover and it says conquer your fear and you can conquer the world. Love the roses and the daggers. Then we've got the monthly enamel pin and the book which is which is steeped in gold which is really exciting because I've heard really good things about this book and this cover is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It is a fantasy, that's all I know. Oh, exactly. How pretty is that? Oh, exactly. So this is a Jamaican inspired fantasy featuring two rival witches who enter into a deadly alliance to take down a common enemy. Sounds stunning. And this is an Owl Crate exclusive cover. Okay, now for the next fairly box. Okay, so this is the April box and this is a Stunning spoiler card and the famous hidden identities. Hello, stunning. Okay, so we have this stunning tote bag. Ooh, I wonder if this is from Blood and Ash. It is Poppy and Hawk from, from Blood and Ash. Oh, exactly. These are inspired by the Poppy War, Blood Air, and an Ember in the Ashes. Those are so stunning. We've got the monthly tarot cards and these are characters from Serpent and Dove. We've got a David Bard pin and it says greatness takes time. We've got some bookends, which is always good to have. And I really like the design on these. These are inspired by the Lord of the Rings, of course. Oh my God, stunning. This is some soap and this is cherry blossom. Oh, exactly. Oh, okay, so the book is The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. I've seen this around quite a lot. Um, I know this is fantasy. Look at that, stunning. I love these edges. This is definitely a stun. Oh. Purple on the top and bottom, exactly. Oh, wow, look, oh my God, <laughs> that's insane. That's actually stunning, Are you kidding? Wow, I don't think I've ever seen such a stunning, like detailed illustration on the naked book before of like people. Oh my God, that is stunning. And then we've got this art too, oh, that is beautiful. And then these are characters from the book, I'm guessing. Oh my God, that person kind of looks like me. The green eyes. And the black hair. It's me. So this is a dark fantasy. Oh, it has a swoon where the romance exactly. Okay, now onto the final box. Okay, so this is March. The theme is frozen fables. Exactly, this vibe is definitely my vibe. Oh, I think we got a mug. Bear in the Nightingale, it says. Oh, stunning. Oh my God, I love this. Look how stunning this art is. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, I just love a stunning ceramic mug and these people are stunning. We have these stunning character tarot cards and these are characters from the Winter Night Trilogy. Oh, exactly to this notebook. This is gorgeous. Look at that foiling. I just love foiling and I love the rose and then on the back it says a candle unused is nothing but wax and wick. I would rather light the flame knowing it will go out than sit forever in darkness. Some cute socks. This phone ring holder. Be your own light. Honestly, that is such a good quote. Oh my god. Oh, look at how freaking stunning this art print is. Are you kidding? That is beautiful and the foiling oh my god that's like next level oh my god this is inspired by spinning silver oh my 
god. So that's one of my new favorite art prints. Honestly, are you kidding me? Okay, now we have the book, which is The Bright and the Pale. I haven't heard of this book, but we've got stunning silvery blue edges. Oh, this vibe is definitely my vibe. Stunning character art, the monthly bookmark. And apparently this is a thrilling story inspired by Russian folklore, filled with fables, romance, tragedy, magic, and monsters. Stunning. So thank you so much to and Alcrate as always. Absolutely stunning. And I am definitely in a better mood, especially because I FaceTimed Jamie too. And we had a really exciting conversation. Yep. <laughs> anyway, so thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a little bit like random <laughs> because like my mood was all up and down, but I still had a good time. I love the people that I did the readathon with. Like I said, I'll leave their vlogs linked below. And so thankful for your support always. If you're looking for more content from me, I have a Patreon where I upload extra content, like extra reading vlogs. We do a monthly live show, we do a monthly buddy read, etc. I have my other channels, Journal with Chloe and ASMR with Chloe. I have my Instagram and Twitter, which is just Upbooks with Chloe. I have my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash game with Chloe, which is where I stream games and also like just chatting streams and stuff yeah that's all linked below hope you're all having a good day or night and i'll see you in my next video why am i gonna cry